Wow. I can't believe how steep the bank Whoa. is here at Daytona International Speedway. I know, it's like the side of a mountain. I can't believe the cars actually stay on this track. We have to find out how it works. Okay, but how should we start to learn about this? Well, first things first, should we try to walk up the bank to see how steep it really is? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Whoa. Uh, uh, never mind. I think I'm good right here. Me too. This is hard work. Yeah. What's up, guys? No way! You're Riley Herbst, the NASCAR driver. Yes, I am. These banks are pretty steep, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Did you know these steep banks make us race car drivers go as fast as we do? Without them, we couldn't go as fast. Wow, so the track has to be like this to help the cars? Exactly. You guys are getting the hang of it. I got to go get ready for my race. But you guys will figure out the rest on your own. I know you can do it. Thanks, Thanks Riley. Riley. Thanks. You got, got it. it. Hey everyone, I'm Max. I'm Victoria. And I'm Jonas. And today we're at the world famous Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach. This track is so big and has so many cool places to visit. But as you know, today we're looking at one of the most coolest aspects of the entire raceway. These insane banks, they're so steep we can hardly walk up them. So Riley Herbs helped us get started, but we still haven't found out all the details. Why is this track so steep on the turns? I think I have an idea, and I think I can explain it with the help of our good friend, Lightning McQueen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey guys, let's do some science. Yeah. yeah! The track at Daytona is pretty much like a normal road when you're along the straightaway, but when you get to the turns, it gets really interesting. As the track starts to curve, it gets more and more steep off the ground. Most professional racetracks have big banks on the turns so that the race cars don't have to slow down as they change direction. Why would they have to slow down? Okay, well, remember in the first Cars movie when Lightning is training with Doc Hudson? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he fell in the cactus patch? That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> When race cars like Lightning move really fast, it's hard to change direction on a flat track. The speed means you could spin out, so you need the ground to push against. So when a track is banked like the ones here at Daytona, the force of pushing against the ground helps keep the cars stable as they make high speed turns around the track. It's all that force pulling in one direction combined with the speed of the race car pulling you forward. The banking really does make the turns a breeze. Exactly, now you've got it. And the steeper the bank is, the faster race cars will be able to go. For example, here at Daytona, they're 31 degrees at their highest point. Wow, that's like an expert ski slope. Cars going around this turn are gonna have some serious momentum. I bet McLean would love to take a spin around this track, knowing how steep the banks are. That was so much fun. Yeah. And we learned so much. There really is a lot of science that goes into racing. Can you imagine Lightning McQueen on one of those turns? He would smoke the competition. And thanks to Riley Herbst for helping us out. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us here in Daytona International Speedway. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, Riley, do you mind signing this for us? Absolutely. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. <laughs>